All right, I want to talk in this video about a basic piece of equipment that I recently added to my system to take care of a problem, an integration problem, and that's using an external crossover to do some base management between a processor and an amplifier. So a newer aspect of my setup is the idea of this multi-zone stuff, and I've referenced it in a few, prior, a few prior videos, where I'm using one single audio processor, in this case still my Marantz AV7704 preamp, to drive my main zone, which is my theater space, but also treat my living room off of the same sources and off of the same preamp as a multi-zone zone 2. And so that brings in a bunch of new requirements in terms of how things operate and how they would hook up. Originally, I had a Denon receiver running the living room and I had the Marantz running the theater. But I wanted to get rid of that Denon and just have the Marantz and have external amplification for the theater and for the living room itself. And so I've done that. The Denon is out, the amplifiers are in, and I'm using only the Marantz for a main zone and a zone two. In order to do that, the Marantz is basically working like a matrix switch, of course. So for HDMI and video, all of my sources go into the AV7704. There's an HDMI out to the projector for the main zone, and there's a zone two HDMI out that runs up to the living room and connects to the TV. So what do I do for audio? Because I'm not using the TV audio, I have separate speakers in that room. I have a 2.2 system with a tri two triad silver LCRs for the mains and a couple of triad, triad bronze uh, in-wall subwoofers for the subs, the 2.2 audio system. So I'm taking the stereo RCA analog zone two out from the preamp and putting that into the amplifiers that run those speakers. And that would be really easy to do if there were only two speakers there running full range. But I don't have that. I have the mains and I have subs, which means unless I wanna run the speakers full range and run the subs full range, which is a really, really bad idea, I have to do bass management. But there's no bass management for zone two in the preamp. So it has to be done externally. So how am I accomplishing that? Well, in the last few videos, we've talked about the Triad PAMP two-channel amplifier that's driving the mains and these RackAmp 300s that are driving the two subs. Well, the RackAmp 300s include their base management. So I'm coming out of the Marantz AV7704 into the first RackAmp. It has a full bandwidth line out that chains into the second RackAmp. That has its full bandwidth line out that goes into the, into the amplifier for the mains. And of course, since they're dedicated subwoofer amplifiers, they do base management. There's a dial right here. I can set a low pass filter for the cutoff of the subs. Currently got it set at 80 hertz right now on both of those. However, now the full bandwidth line out is coming into the amplifier that's running those mains. And this amplifier has no base management to it. So at least in the next case, instead of running full range speakers and full range subs, I could have base managed subs and full range speakers, but that's not very desirable either. Those speakers are only rated to play down to about 75 Hertz. And of course, by running a speaker full range, when it's not really intended to be, when it's not really designed or specified to do so, you're gonna be taxing your amplifier. It's not gonna perform, perform very well you're still gonna get double bass in that lower region, you stand to lose clarity, and so on. So what are you gonna do? Well, talking to both Triad customer technical support and my integrator friends as well, you can manage the crossovers with an external. Hopefully this will focus in there a little bit. They're not actually in there. I'll put a picture up. They're in the system right now. This is a Harrison Labs FMOD, FMOD, active crossover replacement. It's a little couple inch line, a uh, couple inch long cylinder that basically functions as an inline crossover. The RCA outs of the last subwoofer rack amp go through this crossover and into the actual amplifier that runs those speakers. And these come in many different varieties. If you look on Amazon, they're about 20 to 30 bucks depending on which seller is selling which variety but they offer them both in low pass and in high pass versions, and they're all labeled as such. And they have them at a bunch of frequency ranges from 50 all the way up to 6,500 Hertz. One thing that's odd is you would think this company would understand people are probably using their stuff for home theater and that 80 Hertz crossover is like the golden point for home theater, but they don't make an 80 Hertz F mod. 
they make a 70 and they make a 100. So in this case, I opted to just go ahead and use the 70. Yeah, that's running the speakers a couple hertz below, maybe their rated spec 70 to 75, but that's better than cutting them off way too high. And I certainly didn't want to cut them off any lower than that. So 70 high pass filter in this case was the right one to use. And like most crossovers, it's not a hard cutoff. These, these come with an electrical slope. So there is a DB range and so on. So there is a fall off for how the crossover uh, applies itself to the signal. So this is an invaluable piece for tuning that living room and running it properly when all I'm dealing with is amplifiers that don't have all of those capabilities built in. Bring it in externally, very cheap, good quality. It's not gonna color or mess up the signal by all the reviews and the suggestions and stuff that I found. So there you go. If you need to manage speaker crossovers, high pass or low pass, and you can't do it because of your system configuration and the way your devices are connected at the moment, Harrison Labs, FMOD, Active Crossovers. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about how I've got this set up, look for some future videos because I'm going to break down the entire of my Evolve Zone 2 setup in the coming weeks. Please like and subscribe for more content and thanks for watching.